In fact, our safety strategy has five critical components. They include the initial time the driver and car begin their journey from a parked position, to active safety systems designed to avoid a crash, to pre-collision features aimed at preparing for a collision, to passive safety technologies to help survive a crash, to rescue and response systems after a crash has occurred. We call it our integrated safety management concept. A key component of this approach focuses on high-level driver assist technologies that may, at some point in the future, evolve into a fully autonomous car. The 2013 LS, with the world's most advanced pre-collision system, uses a combination of millimeter wave radar, a stereo camera, and near-infrared projectors. Our system is designed to assist the driver in avoiding or mitigating collisions with vehicles and pedestrians under a wide range of speeds, day or night. Now, based on the position, speed, and trajectory of an object, if the system anticipates a collision, you'll hear a warning sound and a brake alert will be illuminated on the instrument panel. At the same time, several integrated systems automatically activate to increase steering quickness, suspension control, and brake effectiveness. The shocks are stiffened to help control nosedive and increase steering responsiveness and the automatic seatbelt pretensioners are activated. Our system even applies the brakes automatically to reduce impact speed. The 2013 LS is graphic evidence of how automated technologies have advanced in the last decade. So, what paths must be explored in the future? We believe there are two that seem most compelling. A few months ago, TMC began full-scale operations at its ITS proving ground at the Higashifuji Technical Center in Japan. The facility, which simulates an urban environment, has a communication system that links road to vehicle, vehicle to vehicle, pedestrian to vehicle, traffic signals and control devices while monitoring the entire course. The research conducted at our proving grounds will help prevent accidents involving pedestrians and other vehicles, improve poor visibility at intersections, and much, much more. Through it all, Toyota Motor Corporation is dedicated to collaborating with government regulators and cooperating with ITS governing boards to help advance future mobility. Now, whereas ITS is focused on integrating the car with the driving environment, our advanced safety research vehicle is aimed at enhancing the car and the driver's ability to perceive, process, and respond with the aid of onboard automated technologies. We believe our approach is unique in that it involves two parallel programs, half a world apart, exploring different technologies to achieve one common goal. Now, one of these active safety research programs is based in Japan, the other in Ann Arbor, Michigan, at the Toyota Research Institute North America, known as TRINA. The TRINA program is aimed purely at research. The Japan Engineering Group adds the element of exploring future product development for market integration. Now, this LS hybrid is just one example of the areas we're exploring at Trina. It's fitted with advanced GPS, forward and side-facing radars, and high-def color cameras, 360-degree laser tracking, gyroscope, accelerometer, among many of its other sensor components. Our goal is a system that constantly perceives, processes, and responds to its surroundings, that scans the movement of objects around it, identifies a green light from a red light, and measures the trajectory, roll, pitch, and yaw of the vehicle as it steers, accelerates, and brakes along the most efficient route to its program destination. An array of equipment processes data, formulates decision, and enacts by-wire responses. Now, as you can imagine, we can't discuss specific performance parameters, and we can't speculate today on how or when such a car might be available in the marketplace. Our guess is not in the immediate future. And that's how it should be. At the moment, this is a pure research project with a strong statement of the shape of things to come. Sensor and bi-wire technologies have opened the door for machines to recognize and respond to the environment around them, beyond even the capabilities of humans. However, sensing what's around you versus understanding it is vastly different. So we must combine the judgment of humans with the precision of machines, and that takes time. 
Right now, machines can handle simple tasks like parking, following traffic, and staying in a lane. But we need to introduce a layered approach that will broaden capabilities. Step by step, we will build trust with society and governments so that vehicles will be allowed to perform more automated tasks. These capabilities must be integrated with consistency and reliability before vehicles are trusted to drive alone.